All right, final region of our, our D Lapis deck. Looks like that right side is going to be the good side. That is a lot of that's a lot of ones game. I just want to I want to throw that out there. All right, I'm just going to go for What I'm going to do is I Oh, I I think I do that and then I do this. My plan was bad. Wait, I'm realizing now. I should be using, if I have two even numbers, I should be using two different ones, I think. Interesting. Okay, well. They're all hitting for seven. They're all identical. So I just... Zap one. Do an indomitable so we're mostly defended. I don't think there's any value in doing more damage right now. Okay. I in Lustrous it takes me a second sometimes. You know, you know how it be. I do think, though, if we have a four... In the case where we have two twos, I think this is the correct play. But when everything rolls ones... When everything rolls ones... And then everything rolls from ones to fives... We're exactly blocked. I don't think I want five more dice here. So I'll just chill. We we learn slowly sometimes, but that that is a good observation. Our best case scenario is we get two fours that we can slap into cryo. Yeah, okay. Now I'm starting I'm starting to see it a little bit more. Let there be dice. We're still not defended, which is something something to write home about. There's no point. That's needless. But yeah, Indomitable Form really, really provides a nice bit of filler, I think. <laughs> what are the chances? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Rolling 12 dice and getting only, only one even. <laughs> that seems... Impressively unlikely. Oh, although I guess we are we are taking all our sixes and turning them into fives, so slightly less impressively unlikely. Yeah, it it is. We we should pick up some things that take odds. I think that's the short version. Reality ripple. Reroll all other dice. That's a really cool one. That's pretty cool.
It does use up the die that you put into it, though. So I don't think it's it's good for this one. Yeah. Gain Energized. Increases damage and increases block. Energized would be pretty good, but it fights with our, our Frosty Dice. I guess we can just energize different dice. We'll, we'll do that. Because it's it's a low cooldown. We need win an elite battle without taking damage. Alright. If we want to get that, we're this is the time to do it. This left side is going to be a little awkward. I'd really like to finish this so that the next elite we go into with the five dice ready to rock and roll. Although I'm not sure we're going to be able to. Putting this energized die into things that reroll is not is not good. I need to be careful about that. If I had bloodlusted, I would have got the kill there. Now we're we're gonna get five extra rolls here, which we don't want. Hmm. Do we think we can defend? No. I mean, how much can we defend? Definitely not 24, right? Yeah, we cap out way before then. All right, so I, I kind of put us in the worst possible situation for the next boss, which if it's the limited usages boss is going to be a little scary. Depths of power, no. Poisonous bile, no. Chemical reaction. Remove X poison. Apply weak for each poison removed. Interesting. Okay, we're just we're just gonna get rid of one, and then I think the dodge may come in useful. Minus thirty max health for a shard is insane. Gain one prophecy. Apply broken to a random spell, or gain invoke mana. Roll two dice, unrestorable. I'll take 11 damage for that. Whether we use it or not is is a question mark, but we get our void spell. So we're making meta progression at least. Okay, looks like we won't be facing Mr. Uh, don't, do, don't do the thing, man. So that's good. I think, I think when we have fours, it's worth doing this twice just to get maximum power. So the question is, we're nowhere near a kill right now, I don't think. And the dodge is not going to do us that much good. So if I do mark, I get another 50% damage. And right now, 
I'm doing 91. So Bloodlust gives us 33. Or no, wait. Okay, so breaking out the calculator. We are doing 93 damage. And we could multiply that by 1.3333 by bloodlusting. That makes it 123. And we can multiply that by 0.5, or excuse me, 1.5 for marked. 185. We'd be 15 short. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to chill. I, I don't know, but when we when we are ready to kill this guy, we will uh, we'll double check <laughs> how much damage it's saying we're doing. Oh, this is this is trash. Yikes, not a good, not a good time we just had there. Uh, so it's doing 47. This guy's not attacking this turn. Okay, so let's, let's try and let's try and see how much damage this is doing. So let's do let's do the math one more time. So we are doing 47 damage. So if we have 47 damage times three, oops. 47 damage times that is 141. Oh, so we're just, we just have the kill. Times 1.333 is 187. So if we use the mark potion, we get the kill right now. All right, let's do it and we'll see what the individual hits are for. Because we can do the math on that. So 47 times 1.33333 times 1.5. We should be hitting for 93. So let's see. So we're going to cast this. We're going to mark you. And this is doing 285. It's doing 95. So there's there's some rounding cuz my guess was 93 but it is it is multiplicative. Welcome back Sam. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think we I think we look for better. I want to do a vile ritual run at some point. It is very good as well, but Turn one, gain three barrier. Gain three block at the end of each turn. That seems really good. What are we... So this is three times we can roll two dice. This is... It doesn't re-roll the dice, so it's not as good as Sleet Storm from a cryogenesis perspective. I don't think we have a space for, for invoke mana. That's pretty good. What else What else do we have that's upgradable right now? We've already done Diminishing Blade. Noxious Ritual isn't that important. Noxious Ritual? Hold on. You've heard that I'm up for some multiplayer BG3 playthroughs? Oh, I wish I had time for it, Sam, because I would love to. Uh, and then we can just use it more? Or we can make it any die. I, I guess we I guess we take the shard so that we can upgrade this. I think I think more uses is more important. We have a lot of fives. So we'll do that. Yeah, I, I think that's what's happening uh in Lustrous. I think you are absolutely correct.
On block gained, gain one fury. Seems good. Uh, at the end of each turn, deal one damage to the front enemy for every dice rolled this turn. I think I want to take that too. On odd turns, gain a power on even turns. Sword of Pain I can skip, but these first two are great. Then we can we can pick up one more potion. Reroll all dice. I think I'll grab I'll grab the three dice. And then sadly, I don't think Frost Core fits into our deck, but we could have made it easier to play. Is it is it better than other things that we have? Is it better than Sleet Sky? Because we're using Sleet Sky to generate Fury. So we could... We could replace that. Yeah, I, I don't think it I don't think it quite works, unfortunately. Oh, we still have one more elite. Okay, so this could be this could be the uh the elite that doesn't let us uh use our spells. It is the elite that doesn't let us use our spells. And he's hitting for 21 the first turn. What an absolute champion. All right. Oh, I had two fours. I should have definitely split it between two fours. I don't think I need more dice right now, do I? Uh... This fight's going to be over pretty quick, or it's going to get really bad. So... I think I, I, think I put one more into Indomitable Form here. No, maybe I... I think maybe I smoke screen this turn. I, I don't think we have the kill this turn. With bloodlust, so I'm I'm waiting I'm waiting for the turn where he doesn't attack, and we're gonna go ham. So I think right now this would save us seven damage. I think we use an indomitable now, and we dodge next turn. Oh, okay. This is the turn where he is a chilly, chilly Willerson. Got it. Okay. So this is the turn where we go we go ham bone then. Crank it up. Do this just to get the extra fury. All right. We have lethal. <laughs> we do indeed. We did indeed have lethal and then a little bit extra. Whenever a spell deals unblocked damage, apply one poison. Doesn't seem terrible. What are we... What's our other upgrade option here? Indomitable for more charges, I think, is very smart. Yeah. Let's just... Let's make sure that we don't run out of those on the final boss. Feels like playing the Watcher and Slay the Spire. Got to have a calculator. Yeah, there's a little bit of that going on here. So right now, I think the question that I'm asking myself is, can I do 120 damage turn one? Because if I can, then that's probably the correct decision here.
Right now it's doing 33 times 3. Feels like it's kind of close, doesn't it? Forty-eight times three, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do. Yeah, I actually think. I don't think we need a branding tonic. Focus toxin, no, no. All right. Well, I guess we take the card. Branding tonic. Versus a dodge? Hey, uh, Zigo Dino. I'll call you Dino from now on, just in case I messed up the beginning there. But yeah, welcome on in. Good to see ya. Dino is fine. Sweet. For three, actually, for three turns, this is pretty big. Because we can potentially kill the, the main boss in three turns. Or if not, it'll it'll probably benefit us for two. Actually, hold on. So we gain 13 HP from healing. We only gain eight from this. Max health isn't that important. We should just... I should have paid for the full, the full heal, though. What was I thinking? All right. Boss time. Now, I'm a little worried because this guy is going to hit us pretty, pretty hard, potentially. Let's see what we roll with this first. Found you over the last spell, watched a couple of your videos, and I must say, uh, just like the vibes? Hell yeah. I appreciate that very much, uh, Dino. Ooh, we'll be back to Heroes of Might and Magic next week for sure. So super, super thrilled to hear that you're enjoying that one too. All right, I think a three is good enough to put in here. And then we can reroll this one one more time. We don't need more rolls right now. I think more foresight for next turn is a good a good pickup. Only doing 150, eh? Do we do we bloodlust? We're gonna We're gonna take an additional 33. But the 150 wait, the 150 is not gonna become I have two calculators open now. 150 times 1.33333. So if they if they round up, we technically get the get the turn one kill. I think we do that. We take a bit more damage, but oh, it is not rounded up. So we will just, we'll just do that. And then I will, I'm going to toss one more in Indomitable so that we're not going to get completely eviscerated on this turn. Scammed. Someday we'll, we'll learn how it all works. Someday we'll learn how it all works. All right. Four. Four. I think, I think we energize a four and even though it's gonna, well. No, I'm gonna do it this way. Twenty two is good enough. I'm just going to leave. We're letting Bloodlust ride. A 
Let him bury her up. I think we're getting the kill next turn. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play I'm gonna play a little risky here. And I'm gonna use one more indomitable charge. But yeah, we, we have a maybe lethal next turn this turn. It's gonna rely on rolls, and we got terrible rolls. So no lethal for sure. Oh. <laughs> we got the bad rolls. We're going to turn off Bloodlust. I'm just I'm just curious about this. I, I know this is wasteful, but <laughs> we're not going to use them anyways. And it's like so close. And then we rolled we rolled 29 dice that turn. That's pretty good. Oh no. My indomitable form has been has been infected. Oh, it's a little sad that we didn't make it there and then that that worked that way. So okay, so we do this. And we do this. I was wrong about the energized die, I will say. That was that was an incorrect play. We, we clearly still have the win. I'm not... I'm not concerned. Turn Bloodlust back on. Do you unlock stuff while playing it, or is it just every round plays different? Uh, it is a rogue light uh, dino, which means that, yes, there's a meta progression system, which is the stuff that you see happening here. All right, stage four unlocked, uh, delving further into the abyss. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, that was, a, that was a good run. That was a very fun run. I liked cryogenesis. I liked the fury build. That was, uh, that was very interesting. All right, what are, what are we doing next? Oh, unlocked lay loadout. Uh, Earth Song. So this is the Hazel D loadout. So what does it come with? We got Rock Slide, deal X damage, uh, depleted, roll a one. Weird. But we have Earth Song. This is the primary one. Plus one value to target dice. So fours become fives. And Terraform, block and delayed block. Okay. Okay, we got a new spell in, in various books. Let's take a look. Ether Echo. Return dice with Ether unrestorable. Very that's very cool. Aspect of Earth. Gain two block, increased by one for each spell since last use. Okay. Cool, cool. So we have we don't have the D over here done. Have we played did we play the C here? It looks super familiar. Is there a place where it shows us if we got a win? We did play that one. Okay. So, we still have to win a water A, which is a little embarrassing. All right. But I think let's try this uh let's try Earth Song out here. Seems like a reasonable plan for our next run. <laughs> 